Electrical engineering has had a tremendous impact on our society. We're trying to make the major more accessible to more people. But this class is going to be it's going to be radically different from previous classes with, on the same topics. So. They do get a kick out of building things in, in the lab. We decided to make major changes to some of the existing courses and to develop new courses that expose the students to the amazing array of applications and tools that electrical engineering provides. Most of us have no idea what goes on inside. The camera, which is just this little hole on this side, but if you look on the back, now you can see it's relatively small corner over here. If you look at a cell phone camera, the whole imager is very small. EE is a maker culture. We build systems. What we've decided to do is uh, expose undergraduates from freshman year to the double E maker culture by introducing these new classes. For this new age of information mathematics, the kind of stuff that you want to know is actually, it's very, very simple. It's a very short list. It's linear algebra, it's probability, and a little bit about computing. That's it. So this class is the on-ramp to that entire world. Essentially, all the course content is being made by Stanford undergraduates. The idea of this course is for freshmen to take very simple concepts from linear algebra and to go really deeply into applications using those simple concepts. It's all around you. There's things in machine learning, you can do things like fraud detection. We can do image enhancement. We can do automatic control. That's where you control like an airplane to fly from one place to another. And we're going to see how a quantitative hedge fund works. For the undergrads, the plan was to help create this curriculum that we wish we had had available to us as freshmen. What we try to do in the class is teach the students that like, you can build very efficient system. Some of the power supplies that the students get to build in the lab they actually exceed 90 something percent efficiency uh, at several tens of watts. So suddenly it's also the realization is like, oh, this is actually real power and actually is, is, uh, things work, like you can make things efficient and small. Light is all around us and it's one of the primary ways that we interact with the world. Um, I think in addition to sophisticated technology applications of light, understanding how light works and how light interacts with the world opens our eyes just to how nature works. Some of the things that we talk about in our class are things like how do bees find honey, uh, which has something to do with their eyes and the way that their eyes are different from our eyes and they're able to see aspects of light that we're not able to see. So students take the concepts that we talk about in class, they learn more about them by actually carrying out labs. Today, the technology that we use for 21st century applications, say solar power or the internet or all the mobile devices in your pocket, that technology is actually based on, believe it or not, quantum mechanics. You have to bring in these ideas of electrons, of photons, of the steps in energy, the quanta in energy. You have to use these concepts or you simply can't start to understand the devices. It was Einstein who explained it and that was the real start of quantum mechanics as we know it today. They are going to bend your mind. You're going to look at the world a different way once you understand some of these things. And that's what's going to enable you to generate the next set of technologies. All Stanford undergrads now will have the opportunity to learn about electrical engineering tools from the absolutely best teachers we have in the department.